Hey guys, Jeremy Jacobus here. If you're new, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. It's lovely seeing your beautiful faces. This is all about my food adventures all over the world. And guess what? We're on a food adventure. My first international food adventure since, you know, the whole pandemic thing. I am in burr, 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 Montreal. Usually I like starting these videos in like somewhere picturesque and beautiful, but I landed and it is very humid and very rainy and very cloudy and very gross. And well, it was a ordeal to get into the country. I'll get into that in a second. I'm here to eat all the food I can. I'm going to be here for two and a half days. You guys are going to come along with me. We're going to find the best food that Montreal has to offer. I have one place we're about to head to after this that looks just bomb. But just because I like these sort of travel videos to be, you know, to really help you guys travel, let me give you some context. I'm here a week after Canada has finally allowed U.S. citizens into the country. I was just not prepared for all the precautions you have to take. You know, I read every email and it's, I, I, I did so much research trying to figure out what do I need to actually get into the country. My understanding was I just had to be double vaccinated. Last night when I went to go check in, no, you also need a negative COVID test. Not only just that you can't get a rapid test either, it has to be a negative rapid PCR test, which is not easy to get and very expensive. And thank God my flight this morning was at 1045 because I ran, found a place that would do it, paid way too much money. Went to the airport, got my results almost right before I needed to check in because it wouldn't even let me check in without it. And finally, I thought I was home free. No, I landed. Customs took two hours. Oh, my God, my brain was going to explode. And then I thought, I did it. I'm in the country. I see the door. I see the exit at the airport. And they said, oh, I'm sorry, sir. You have to take another COVID test. So within, within six hours, the flight is 45 minutes, by the way, I'd take another COVID test just to get into the country. It has been an ordeal, but I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to have you guys along for the ride. Um, so let's go get some food. Okay, it's time for my first bite here in Canada. I am here at Lafarique for these incredible, incredible pancakes. You guys know, brunch first, had to get that. These look insane. So let's go in the kitchen and uh, let's see how they're made. And let's eat. I mean, I'm also I'm just starving. I'm just starving, so. So the pancakes begin by putting the batter into little rings right on the flat top. The batter is made out of milk, sugar, flour, and baking powder. Then they take a piece of thick cut bacon that has been smoked with maple and then sous vide in even more maple syrup and put that right onto the flat top to get crispy on all sides. The pancakes rise and get a flip. As does the bacon. And then on a plate goes a layer of house-made apple puree. One of the pancakes a slice of cheddar, the other pancake, and then wait for this, a medium boiled egg that has been kept warm and even more maple syrup. A little bit more maple syrup then goes on top, one more slice of cheddar, and what else but more maple syrup before they go into the oven to cook through. What's so cool about their maple syrup is that it actually comes from a family member's farm. When they come out of the oven, that gorgeous piece of sizzling bacon is put right on top, and of course, it needs more maple syrup. All right, enough messing about. Let's get into these pancakes, because holy shit. It's gonna be hard just to get like a good, I want like a bite with everything. A little pancake, a little egg, a little cheese, a little bacon, a little bit of that puree. Wow, look how thick it is. Woo, it's still steaming. This, this is the bite right here. Look at it. Oh. It's so many flavors going on at once. My brain doesn't know what to think. It's like, first you're getting that apple puree. Then you're getting the sweetness from all the syrup on there. Then you're getting that smokiness and saltiness and fattiness and just, oh, everything from that bacon. It is such an insane bite. And then the pancake itself is like, it's a thick boy. 
It's dense, but this pancake needs to be dense with all this stuff going on. Oh my God. Mm. It's so interesting having all those little tiny bits of syrup coming through. I mean, there's syrup everywhere. Syrup on top, syrup and bacon, syrup and eggs. It's crazy. And I love the sprinkle salt they put on top right at the end. Chef is like, ah, it needs its little sweet. I'm like, I appreciate that because you guys know me. I'm much more in the savory place, but wow. Just wow. Okay, so that's it for day one. Uh, I finished up that shoot. Came back to the hotel. Walked around a little bit just to try and get a little grocery thing. So hotels don't have mini bars anymore. It's insane. All I want to do is overpay for like a bag of chips. So anyway, um, it's been kind of raining, gross. Couldn't really walk very far. If you guys have traveled with me before, you know that I love ordering in sushi. So that's what I did. Uh, what the fuck is the name of this place? This place, oh, I'm just saying at the Hotel Omni also. I forgot to mention that earlier. This sushi place was recommended to me by somebody. It's called Sumi Dojo. It seems pretty good. Pieces look good. So I can eat that. Call it a very early night. Tomorrow, day two, be much more exciting. It's a big, big food day. So make sure to subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell because you want to know when that video drops. And uh, until then... We'll see you next time.